we are a few minutes behind schedule. I think we had trouble getting the stream started. Hopefully, we're going to be working uh, any minute now. We had a stream this morning, which was successful until I tried to play Blitz. And we had a number of interesting games in 15-minute chess. But um, when it went to Blitz, I started to deteriorate. It looked like uh, fatigue set in after the... Um, I think we're online now. Um, fatigue set in this morning in the Blitz session. So, for those of you who just joined us, we've got a 15-minute game. It's uh, Rasa Limo Sicilian, and uh, by by the move order Bishop B5 check, but White played the very strange move 5 B3, and as I'm explaining um, to those of you who couldn't hear me, this um, this pawn structure is one where White really needs to play C3 and D4 very quickly in this variation. So here we have a situation where white doesn't really have the usual kind of counterplay. Now, I have some different options here, but I, you know, I, I think about playing like pawn takes e4, but this might open up some counterplay for him along the d file. So I'm a little reticent to play to play pawn takes e4 right away. Uh, another maneuver that might be interesting is queen e8, queen e8, queen h5, all the Dutch. And I was thinking about king h8 here. And some of you might be tempted to close it up. And I think there's a reason, you know, there's reasonable, like, ideas behind playing, like, f4 with the pawn storm on the king side. But uh, my, my instincts are usually to try to keep the tension as long as possible. I like that his rook is off the f file here. I mean, it, it looks like we should try to keep some potential play along the f file. We could play like pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, bishop g4. But um, actually, this deserves consideration. It gives him some play on this in the center. So this is a little bit of a tough spot. Um, should be good for black, but it's hard to find the right move. I'm gonna have to think here. King h8 is like a move that I play when I don't know what to do in this type of position, but there's not really any danger to my king on the white squares. Um, he can't really do anything to me. So queen e8 was a move I was thinking about. I'm not sure what it does. And if he plays knight e3, he probably loses a pawn around here, so he can't maneuver knight e3. He doesn't have any really good concrete plans. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, King H8 has one coin that maybe like Bishop B6, Knight G5, Bishop G8 has a retreat square. On the other hand, uh, Queen E8 also has a point that it supports Knight H5, which might be an interesting um, attacking maneuver. Anyway, time is is wasting here. Got to watch out for possible peace sacrifices by White. Um, I'm going to go with Queen E8 just because we have to make a decision and uh, this actually you know I think this actually would probably strengthen the line where I play f4 for a pawn storm but white's play is somewhat somewhat feels wrong uh, but it's not horrible I mean but the f file opening for black can be favorable and um, also, yeah, the, the fact that his rook isn't on f1 here looks a little weird. He doesn't have any way to open the position. Black's development is fine. I have a strong center. Um, if he takes an f5, the position opens for my bishops. c3. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the way he should have played it in the first place uh, on move 5 or 6 with c3. Anyway, uh, welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, I, I don't think we have a lot of viewers yet, because we are five minutes behind schedule. And, um, all right. Queen h5. Getting off the, the file looks good. And some potential attack on the king side. Queen g6 would walk into some tactics, so we're going to go with queen h5. 
and uh, he doesn't really have anything special. Um, if pawn takes f5, bishop takes f5, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4, e4, black is a good game. So at this point, it starts to look like we have some threats. Pawn takes f5, bishop takes f5, and I don't believe he can sacrifice a piece here. Um, it's interesting, though. He could try. Okay, bishop takes f5. And black has the initiative. So welcome, everybody, to the stream. I'm International Master William Pascal, and um, we are trying to stream every day except for probably maybe Sundays and Saturdays. Sometimes on the weekend we'll do it. Most days we're going to be streaming. Some evenings, this is the line I talked about, by the way, um, don't like it, relief for white. Some evenings, like Friday and Sunday evenings. Now, knight d2, and black has a raging attack here. Knight d2, um, well, I could play knight, knight g4. If knight g4, I threaten uh, very nasty stuff against h2, he has knight f1 there. Unfortunately, holding everything together. So we're going to need to find another move. But this position should be good for me. How about the end game with um, with trading queens? Yeah, it's good for black, but it's not exactly what we wanted. I mean, we really wanted something like crushing on the king's side. And I wanted to put this guy away right here, but it's not going to be possible. He has knight f1. Very strong defensive idea going to hold his position together. In end games, um, I don't know about this position. I, I'm having a hard time getting it to d4 pawn. Bishop g4 is interesting. Bishop g4 forces queen c2. The problem for me is like, is that um, I just can't, can't find the knockout here. Could try like Bishop g4, bishop f3, uh, bishop g4, bishop h3, he's going to play queen c2. I'd like to get my, my heavy pieces in on a direct attack on this king. But knight f1, uh, knight, knight g4, knight f1, bishop h4 maybe. Yeah, that's, that's looking interesting. Um... But I still am not seeing anything concrete for me. So time is wasting here. We don't hang our queen in the, in the confusion. Feels like black should have something. And I end up playing 15 minute games. How are you doing, pal? Um, reach out there, friend. I, I'm listening. But I'm down to five minutes and I'm really trying to put this guy away. Uh, there's just no concrete win in this position for black. And I've uh, been kind of burning the clock trying to find the forced win. A position where there really isn't anything. Uh, don't want to trade queens, but at the same time, I don't see how to put this guy away. So, we could trade queens and play this end game where we're just a little bit better. Where we could play bishop g4, keep the pieces on the board. Um, but I don't see what I'm going to do like concretely you play knight g4 and it looks a little awkward for me actually so mannered monkey hey hey pal uh okay no no one else on twitch uh streams long games well yeah it's interesting i think it's it's probably the better way to learn chess than trying to play trying to watch people play five minute games where even the players don't know what's going on. But I did play some Blitz earlier today. I don't know where everybody is. Um, okay. I just have to make a decision here. I don't see anything especially good. It, this should be a really good position for black and I just I just don't see a, a breakthrough. So I can keep the queens on the board. But I think I'm going to trade queens no, I can't trade queens. 
All right, keep the queens on the board, Viz. He's got a very solid defensive position, Monkey. Um, I don't want to play d5. It lets his knight into e5. He played knight e3. Actually, I'm happy to see that. That's a very passive move. And um, bishop e6 or bishop d7. d7 guards the um, guards the pawn. We can also play bishop h3, but he'll probably just play king h1, which anyway is is more or less a useful move. So this is a tough call. I'll we'll play bishop e6. Gonna have to play rook c8 if he goes for my c pawn, I guess. What we really need to do is be able to play like knight h5, knight f4, and and then um, then we have some serious threats. Or maybe rook sacrifices on the f file. Our opponent here is playing super fast. Um, okay, we got another guy. It's just bullet flag him. It's not bullet, and it's not good. It's we really used a lot of time thinking about stuff that just wasn't there. Um, but anyway, that's the luxury of 15-minute chess. We've got the time, but this guy's just going to be practical. I think h5 is going to have to be played here. Because this guy's going to be counting on... He's going to be counting on this knight g3. And it's not going to be there for him when he needs it. You know, We're going to have h4 just when he thinks you know he's, he's solid with knight g3. I uh, I hope that um, the only thing about this move that bothers me uh, is that I gave up knight h5. But we could have done knight h5 instead. We could have done knight h5, knight g3, knight f4. And actually, I'm a little bit like angry with myself. Although maybe we can just do whatever we want here. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of counterplay. Maybe h4 then knight h5 is even stronger. Um, yeah, bishop a3. Okay. Do I have time for this h4? I'm going to do it anyway. I have rook d8 if I need to defend my pawn on d6. Um, and I also... Yeah, we're going to have to defend this pawn. If he plays knight c4, okay, no problem. Um, we, we play rook fd8. I don't really like it because... That was where I wanted to put my... I wanted to keep my rook on the f file, but we just have to live with it. We have a good game. Just the time is a problem. I think I hosted him, man. He streams more. Are you gonna stream more? We hosting later today. You guys are having a conversation. Um, it's cool. I'm just gonna like try to speed it up. Uh, anybody, you guys are new. Anybody who's seen me streaming this week has seen that I am really having trouble with the clock, majorly. Okay, so knight h5. Hey, is this guy trying to play queen a6 on me here? Knight h5 or knight, knight h5. There is no time to make a mistake. Knight h5 is nasty because, okay, I've been trying to play this move since the last eight moves or so. Um, it was the whole reason I played queen e8 in the first place. One of the main reasons. Our opponent... Played queen a6. Wow, he's totally bailing on his king side. And we should have a vicious attack. I hope it's vicious enough, though. You know, that's the thing. I hope it's vicious enough. It looks pretty vicious. It looks pretty vicious. Knight f4. And black is threatening some serious stuff in this position. Alright, so we're just starting to pick up a few viewers. I think we're going to do about a three-hour session tonight. Um, Rook takes c6. He just doesn't care. I got this crazy idea of knight takes g2 followed by bishop d5. Oh, I have another idea. Bishop d5. But it's kind of not really necessary. Um... Knight takes g2, I think, you know, knight h3 check, maybe we'll start with, we'll warm up, this will be like an appetizer, knight h3 check, 